Good morning and firstly I have to start off by asking a question and the question is quite simply how would you love to be able to draw pictures like the one I'm viewing here um, close up you can see the you can see the brush strokes and that sort of thing of the artist that created this picture um, but we can be really clever and have a look at something like this a couple of goats in a field almost cartoony by looks the meerkat cat caught his gaze beautifully there in this line drawing and an emu or a rear can't remember which it is but anyway it's um, almost cartoon like the background pictures you can see the the leaves have been well formed and well shaped it's um, nice to be able to do these sort of drawings um, and today I found you actually can quite simply by uh, installing a little program and the program is called Photo Sketcher which I shall run as a download it only takes a moment or two to install usual agreement things and asking where to put it and what to call it and the fact it even asks whether you want a desktop icon or not which we do there we are all complete in just no time at all it takes you to um, photosketcher.com and thank you for downloading and ultimately asks you for um, uh, a donation if you're in a mind to give a donation just make that a little bigger for our purposes today right so what I shall do is um, oh dear me I shall uh, open up some pictures um, on my desktop here we go and we'll have a look at uh, firstly the photograph of the cabin which is taken somewhere in Poland, I believe. Um, but we can do a pencil, pencil sketch, or, or we can do a multiplicity of different uh, things on this picture. We can do a pencil sketch in uh, three different ways, five different ways, sorry. We can do a pastel colour. Uh, we can do pen and ink sketches. In fact, I'll run my pen and ink one, just while I'm talking. Um, you, get, you can do a manual brush, so... Um, We'll come on to that in a moment or two, but uh, generally if you just click the draw button, the program only takes but a moment to give you a, a drawing, um, in this case a black and white pen and ink sketch, um, and there it is. Um, retains some of the realism, but again it does look as though somebody's taken a lot of time over uh, drawing that with some uh, pens and some inks so there we are back if you don't like the finished product here then by just clicking the undo button we can go back to the way it was and select something entirely different um, let's have a look see what we can do it's different um, we can do a cartoon of it if you like almost a cartoon image uh, texture level we can vary the texture level between light normal and strong and in the little preview window here you get a rough idea of what it's going to do I quite like that so we'll, we'll draw that again you'll see a little taskbar across the bottom here when it starts and it'll zoom across um, giving you the finished product there we are again still very lifelike um, almost cartoonized the uh, the trees in the background so there we are um, let's have a look at uh, a photo sketch there we go 97 percent done there we are and we'll have a look at that one I like that one and we can save that if we wish um, in a folder if we wish I've already done one of that um, let me open up a different uh, a folder photo sketcher yeah, because I've already done them I'm going to do I'll call it number two and save that we can then load in a new picture 
Um, this time we'll do the meerkat, which a lot of people seem to like. We can do the pencil sketch again, or we can do something totally different, make it a watercolour. Um, with strong textures, uh, we can adjust the strength of effect from virtually nothing right up to a very strong um, effect. Uh, image simplification. We can make it very simple or we can make it quite complex. If we go somewhere about halfway on this one. Uh, colour intensity. Um, yeah, we don't want it too vivid colours, do we? Light and dark, and we can maybe... Yeah, that's about right. Um, strong texture again. We can put frames around the things if we want. Um, and we'll go for a draw on that one. And as you can see, this will fill in the, the various patches and swatches that it requires. Um, nice picture. And again, around the outside, we can see the frame. So there's a nice... Um, Nice drawing of the of the mere cap. We'll we'll save that one as well. Save drawing as and I'll call this number two as well. There we are, save that. And then we can load in a third drawing. I'm not gonna do all four. Um we'll do the rear. Um so we can do watercolour, we can do various different effects. Cartoon uh, coloured dots here is um, particularly clever. Level of abstraction. We can raise that. Number of circles. Colour intensity, we'll leave it as it is. Minim minimum radius, we can make it quite large blobs or very small blobs. Um, yeah, go about a third. Soften the edges, add a frame, texture, um, one which is strong texture. Let's have a look see how that looks. And quite nice to watch this one for me because all you get is little blobs that eventually make up the picture. And I find this totally fascinating just to watch it. Again at the bottom of the taskbar there on, on this frame you'll see the uh, progress of each picture moving along. It's just done 56% at the moment. I have to warn you that sometimes by the time you finish this it looks nothing at all like the picture you've intended it to look like and it's so simple just to use the back button and go back um, there's a point in question it's, um, it loses a lot if you uh, if you go a bit over the top but um, number of circles minimum radius and it's not that down again we'll go back using the undo button at the top and draw it again and this is only just for another few seconds or so it takes, but experimentation is the key word, I think, with this uh, particular program. But the program is free. Um, it's called PhotoSketcher, and it's from photo. If you go to PhotoSketcher.com, you should be able to download this free version. There we are, 74% done, 77%. I've never ever tried drawing a picture myself using just circles and blobs, but uh, hmm, there maybe I can see the reason why. Okay, so we've we've failed a little on that minimum radius. We need to make it very small. We'll go back again. I'll do this one more time, um, and then leave it up to you to decide what you're going to do. Um, we can print out from this program. How about a coffee there at the end? That's uh, basically, if you've got time for coffee, you've got time to donate. Um, online help um, about the uh, photo sketcher. Uh, it's got the print icon. It's got a text, so you can add text of about the picture. Um, you can set drawing parameters as well, which uh, is very handy to do. Yeah, again, it's... Um, it's it's a cartoon drawing, isn't it? So, uh, um, coloured dots. Maybe that does make up a picture. I've never tried doing it for real, um, but certainly it's something we could maybe uh, practice in, in spare time. That's really all you need to know about the program, other than if you download it, um, 
you can download it yourself and have a play around um, be very good to see some of the results you've got especially with Christmas coming up you could uh, create some really nice uh, effects for on top of your cards or within the cards or just put some family members in to see how it turns out um, no restriction on its use I believe uh, if you do use it and you intend to use it a lot then it's always nice to make that donation thank you very much for listening um, I hope you enjoyed this little presentation and I hope you enjoy the program even more